Hi there ladies, it's Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a dancing jungle skeletons design. These are all the products I'll be using. I forgot to take a photo of the um, stampers I've used, but I will let you know which ones I've used down below. I've got this beautiful um, polish on by Essence and I'm going to be going over with a couple of coats of this gorgeous chameleon polish by Born Pretty Store. That's the direct code there for it. So I'm just going to do two coats and I'm going to let that fully dry. But I just wanted to show you these um, these beautiful chameleon flakies in the polish. It's just gorgeous. It really is. Um, I've used it over this similar coloured base, but you can use it over black or a light colour, just depending on what mood you're in. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to capture the beauty of it all, and it just looked absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I'm going to hide it with lots and lots of stamping. So um, yeah, just have a good look at it now because it's going to be disappearing very shortly. So I've got a couple of coats of um, Sesh feet over the top of that. Oh, sorry, not a couple of coats, just one coat of Sesh feet. I'm going to let that fully dry and then move on to the stamping part. So, I'm going to use this gorgeous plate by Moe London. It's part of the Mexico collection. And I'm going to use two images off that. I'm going to make decals with it. Well, I'm actually not going to do decals, I'm going to do some reverse stamping, but just sort of stick with me and I'll show you what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to get those two images ready and show you. Um, what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to fill in wherever the skeleton faces, bones and body are and I'm using that CAD stamping polish just to um, go over it very gently with the brush that's provided in the stamping polish bottle. It's a nice fine one but if you're using a regular polish um, just pops them onto a like a you know like a back of a stamper um, plate or something like that and just use a fine detail brush to color in the parts so I'm going to do that and then put that aside. Great thing about doing it on a stamper is you can always flick it over and see how your progress is going and whether you've got any blank spots. So I do use several other um, stampers, clear stampers. So these two in the video I'm just showing are from Moira and Born Pretty Store. But I've got a couple from Beauty Big Bang as well and I do use those so I can do all five fingers in one go. And then I sort of do all of one hand and then do the five for the other hand too. So you do need a sticky base coat. I'm just using some oily bonder. But if you haven't got that, you can just put a clear um, top coat on. Not a fast drying one, just a regular clear top coat. Let that get to the stick tacky stage and then just pop that stamped image onto the nail. So what that does is it gives a bit of grab and it will um, basically take on any parts of the stamping stamped image um, and it will grab onto it. Um, and the best thing is there's minimum cleaning later on. So once I've done all of the nails I'm just going to go and run a orange wood stick around the edges. And that's just going to basically take off any of the dry overhanging bits. And um, yeah, not really a lot of cleaning to do. I didn't even really need to take my um, cleanup brush with the acetone or anything like that and sit there for ages trying to clean it. I just did a minimum about of cleaning. And then to top it up, I just did a coat of Sesh V. I actually did two coats, I'm just showing one on camera. And then I've got a little bit of video footage and some photos for you. Now I've actually done this just under natural light because I found with my strong desk lamp, it just kind of um, didn't show all the colors that the polish has in it. So the quality of the photos aren't as great as what I normally do, but in order for you to see the variations in the um, flaky polish, this is the best I could do. So if you've enjoyed the video ladies, just give me a lovely thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel, it's free to do so. If you're into Halloween and minis, I've done loads more and they're all on my Instagram page. I haven't done tutorials for all of them this year, but you can go and check them out there. I've got a direct link for you down below. If you've got any questions, leave them for me too. And apart from that, thanks for stopping by. Hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are. Bye for now.